In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to triple crochet. We have four levels of crochet here on this example. So I started off with a single crochet, then a half double crochet, then a double, which is pretty standard, and then a triple crochet. And what you want to determine is what, what are you using the project for? Because with each one has a detriment. Like the single crochet would take a lot longer to make a blanket, but then it would almost be knit quality very, very tight. Half double crochet is almost equivalent, but it's a little bit wider, so it'll grow your project uh, that much quicker than single crochet. Then there's double, and then that's when you start looking like you're starting to get train tracks along your work. And then there's triple crochet, which is even more wider, so you can grow your project a lot faster. So what you have to determine is, does the material in between the posts actually matter to you? For example, these are the posts. The post is what's in between each one of the stitches that are holding each line together. So the more that you increase from a single crochet to a half to a double to a, tri a triple, this gets longer. So in actual fact, you'll grow your project that much quicker. You won't grow it uh, lengthwise that much quicker, but certainly lengthwise. And uh, let's go along and I'll show you how to triple crochet. The posts are very important when it comes to understanding a crochet project in order to make it grow. A lot of people struggle with their projects growing on an angle one direction or another because they don't truly understand where the end is. So as long as you can see that the posts are moving up and down like on top of each other, then you know you're doing the job right. Hello, my name is Michael Selleck and I'm the creator of Michael's Mail. On behalf of All Free Crochet and I, we'd like to introduce you on how to triple crochet. So working along the edge, in order to build up from one to another, we actually have to chain up four. So let's start doing that. One, two, three, and four. So you understand that this post here and this post here matches this one here. So this acts like a triple crochet, even though it's only a chain. So let's uh, begin to triple crochet. So it's all in the matter of wrapping our needle. So what I always do, I have a little slogan. So I wrap and I wrap, so count that out twice, and then I just say go into the gap, but that means to the very next stitch. So just to the next stitch on the row, so it's right above the very next post available on the line. So I just did that without telling you what I was doing, but see, like that's just above the very next post. So what we need to do is wrap and wrap and into the gap or stitch that you want to call it. So you go in, grab your material, pulling it through, and now you'll have four on your hook. So let's pull through two, pull through two, and two. Okay, so let's try that again. So wrap and wrap and into the gap, going in, pull through, two, and two, and two. Let's do that again. Wrap and wrap and into the gap, pull through, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Let's do that again. Wrap and wrap and into the gap, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. So wrap and wrap and into the gap, the very next stitch, pull through two, two, and two. So you can see how very simple that is. So wrap and wrap. So the triple crochet is making these posts get a lot bigger, a lot quicker. Uh, you are using a lot more yarn, so don't be uh, fooling yourself thinking that you'll be saving yarn with this technique. You're just using more yarn in between the posts. So let's uh, fast forward the video, and I'm going to take you to the end where we try to understand where the actual end stitch will be. So I'm almost at the end of my project, and I, and I can see already that there's kind of a lean happening toward the hook there. So what I want to do is I want to pay attention. So I got one post left, two, and three. This final one is a third post. So we've got three stitches left based on the posts that are underneath. People really need to understand that. So let's uh, finish off. So wrap and wrap and into the gap. Pull through, two, two, and two. And wrap and wrap into the gap. Pull through, two, two, and two. And here's where most people make a mistake, is that they, let's uh, begin to wrap and wrap so I can show you what we're doing. So wrap and wrap, and a lot of people think that they go into this big gap down here, and that's the false. Because if you go to do that, what's going to happen is it's going to compress it and make this appear to be a hole. So you actually have to go into the stitch that is right above the top right? So it's just like when you're going into a chain, you have to make sure there's two strings on top of the hook and one underneath as a bottom and then pull, pull through two, two, and two. 
So understanding how you're getting your edge, see now you have a perfect up and down. So the post match, the next post match, everything matches. Therefore, you'll stay square with each other. So let's uh, begin to turn our project and let's chain up four like we did before. So we go one, two, three, and four. And we always chain four when we go to build up on top of each other. This counts as the very first post that you can see. So this is the post that matches this post, which matches this one and down. And now let's begin again. So wrap and wrap, going into the gap, which is to call the stitch, pull through two, two, and two. So it's like a triple two. So wrap and wrap into the gap, pull through, two, two, and two. So wrap and wrap into the gap, pull through, two, two, and two. Wrap and wrap in, through, two, two, and two. Good luck with that. This is actually a really great uh, tutorial, and we'll talk to you all soon.